Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, it's that time of the day where we tel televise good vibes, good energy, and sip and spill while we're at it. And yes, you know, it's still that time of the season where we're just going to be jollificating and just vibing and just chilling. You know, and I'm, I'm not going to do today's analysis alone. I've got the feisty, any baby in the building with me today. Hey, hey. What's good, girl? I'm fine. I'm good. I'm good. You're looking amazing today. I, I'm glad you got the memo, the white and black thing. Is what going do you on. mean today? I look amazing every day. Please excuse you. Well, guys, don't even <laughs> spoke about amazing now. You have to hear yourself. I see you got the memo. Hey, what did you have to that today first? Thank you. Yeah, I got the memo and I look good. So thank you. Okay. You always look good anyway. Yeah, I'm better. not going to lie, thank but you. you don't have to, you know, blow your own trunk. In fact, it's okay. I'm beginning to see you in a different light, but you look good still. Thank How you. Are you? I'm did fine. you sleep well? Yeah, I did. I did. All right. So well, what's the plan for, you know, the holidays? Are you doing anything special? Um... Nothing yet, but it's I... It's two days to the end of 2020. I know, doesn't, I know. Doesn't it feel good? I can't wait. Like, you always say, I'm already in 2021, my nigga. Oh, you just mm -hmm. got to 2021. Yes, I just entered oh, okay. 2021. I'm a few months ahead of you then. Like, <laughs> what month are you? March? May, April, I guess. I think I'm in April. Okay, right? okay. Yeah. What about you? What are you doing for New Year? But, uh, man, you know me now. My life is a movie, man. Mm -hmm. Every day is a holiday. So, yeah, I just leave it as it comes, man. Whatever happens, happens. happens. If it, yeah, if it's sleep... It's all well and nah, good. Nah, I doubt you sleep at all. <laughs> I doubt you. Well, I, I'm supposed to be in church, but no crossover night. You know me now. Thank God, say I godly. Oh, yeah, I'm very godly. Yeah. yeah, speaking of godly, we're going to be moving on to the first story of the day. This is a um, popular Nigerian singer and songwriter. You know, you should know this song. Make her put it in. Put it in. You know that song, yeah? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's a new vibe, and I'm feeling that vibe. And Mr. Techno has revealed that he's in dire need of a good cook. The singer made this known yesterday, December 28th. In a tweet, um, he made this known on December 28th in a tweet that he shared on his verified page and revealed that he's willing to pay $800 a salary to the cook. In other news, um, Nigerian musician and Malian music boss Naira Mali has spoken on the controversial topic on whose role it is to prepare meals. The singer revealed that he believes men and women ought to know how to cook. Taken to his Twitter account, the Mafo Krona stated that both genders belong to the kitchen because the kitchen has food. Hmm. Mm -hmm. And then I just think that it's just super hilarious. But let's start with um, <coughs> Techno, Techno who is offering $800. I, I think Some my people salary is, cook <laughs> is cooking right now. <laughs> <laughs> I, please, I want to apply. I can make a bar, rice, and I can boil, boil water too. That's all better. you can do. <laughs> That's all you can do. A bar, rice, boil water. What does he need again? So, wait, you can't really cook. No, for real, for real. Can you cook? Yeah, I can. I can. I can. You can. Mm -hmm. Okay. She probably doesn't know how to cook. <laughs> but it's okay. It's 2020. Mm -hmm. we, we're going to live with it. And then mm -hmm. it's not really a woman's place. So it's gone at those days when they say ah, a woman needs mm -hmm. to know how to cook. But at the same time, you need to have an idea. Sure, you should have an idea. Yes. You know what a knife is? Yeah. You know what a spoon is? Yes, and I can make a mad... mad um, Egusi soup, don't worry. Oh, don't Egusi soup. So, I'm a Jegusi pan here. Oh, that's mm. right now. It's mm. very good for your body. Mm. <laughs> all right, all right. But, anyway, but what's your take on this whole, okay, you know, about, $800 for a cook? Oh, I feel, um, is to me, when I read it, I was like, is this guy serious right now? Or is he just trying to brag like Bobby Ski does? Because, you know, Bobby Ski too, like, he pays his, um, is cook one million naira. I pieces. So I was like, is it serious? Is he really going to pay this money? Because I just feel 800k is too much for a cook. What does he want to prepare? Mm. <laughs> That's just me, right? I can um, remember there was a time that um, I think there was a story on Whiskey's um, chef in London. Mm -hmm. um, just for jollof rice, you know, twice a day. I mean, twice a week. I think she was getting paid like 700 pounds or 800 pounds. Are you yes, serious? every week. I said it. Cooking every is my, week. Cooking is not my she calling. Gets, so yes. um, I don't want to see this like brag. Like that's a little amount of money because most of these guys they have a lot of people over. You think it's just going? Well, to you know, be sometimes you just easy. mouth. You just say it on. No, no, no. Most of them pay a lot for cooking. I actually have a friend who pays. Mm -hmm. I think close to like 150 G's a month. For his cook, and the guy comes just weekends. It's not like he's wow. there Monday to Friday. Okay. He cooks everything like uh, he comes on like um, Saturday, cooks, then comes back the next Saturday. Mm -hmm. You get, and he's paying him like 150, wow. 120 there, but I really can't remember the exact figure. Okay. And that's not a celebrity, so why would a celebrity pay for that? Mm -hmm. And remember that these people cook in bulk because they have people mm -hmm. over. Okay. You get, and they always like to have food. Imagine a techno without food. <laughs> you get. So they always have to cook. So it's not like it's that easy, but at the same time, 
I'm beginning to think me too. It's our calling. It's our calling. I think well, we can do this. Let's not go away. What Naomi said, when I, when I read uh, what you said, that like, cooking is not a gender role, mm. I was very happy because I'm always having this conversation with my if friends. If you can eat, then why would Thank you, you cook? Why you, must you restrict a woman to like, okay, go and prepare food? If you are hungry and we are married, why can't you prepare food by yourself? Why must you wait for me to do it? I think mm. we should just balance it. It's not my duty. I can just do it if I want to do it. Mm. What do you think about that? But what do you think of a man who is always in the kitchen? Would you like that? Like, yes. if every time before you, before you do anything, no, 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 babe, I got this, babe, I got this. Yes. You know, women really don't <laughs> like weakness too. These days, they begin to see it as a sign of weakness when the guy is always cooking and all that. What if he's a chef? Well, that's mm -hmm. if he is a chef. <laughs> but would you, would you restrict your man to saying, okay, he's the cook in the house, I go get the money? Would you like that type of relationship? Yes. You don't maybe. mind? Mm hmm. Mm. We talk about full time house school, husband, Abby. Yeah. You like full time house husband? Uh -huh. Drop the children <laughs> in school. <laughs> we talk about the cool. school without me making the money. No problem. Oh, wow. I bet it would like to be. Um, okay, no. That's no. the <laughs> TV. All right, so let's just move on to the next story, which is mm -hmm. on former Big Brother Niger Pepe Dempsey's and four housemate, Toyo, who has complained bitterly about sexual transactions and how it enables women to develop a lazy culture. The reality TV star indicated on his Twitter page that men who pay big cash in exchange for sex are to blame for it. He added that there would be no reason why a man should pay for sex if it is enjoyed by both, by both the man and the woman. Hmm. Yeah. True. You think so? Mm -hmm. You think so? Mm -hmm. So, but that's like the oldest, um, what's it called now, business that's ever existed. Transactional sex, sex. that's what people have been doing. But to, can we really blame the politicians and the Yahoo boys? Mm -hmm. Can't we also blame some of the men who actually go out there to even go and, you know, offer the cash yeah. in the first place? Mm -hmm. And because to me, I don't think I can blame the girls because men would definitely chase and girls now put a price on it. Sure. So I really can't blame the women if you ask me. Mm -hmm. But let me get your take on this one. Um, what really upset me was like, it generalized it. All Nigerian women, I think it's the type of girls Toyo is going after. Because mm. there's still some ladies that they work out to get their money. They are not waiting for um, Yahoo boys and politicians to give them um, money before they can eat or spend. So I don't, first of all, let me just clear it. Toyo, not all Nigerian Nigerian women <laughs> are actually spoiled by um, politicians and um, rich men. And also, they are the type of girls you're going for. But it's true. Transactional sex should not be paid for. You Transactional sex should not be Sorry, uh, sorry. Sex, sex should, should not, not be, be paid, paid for. for. I'm so sorry. Because um, I enjoy it. You enjoy it. Why are you giving me money for it again? Because at the end of the day, you're making it look as if you are um, a night worker. That's how I say it. Mm. You paying for it makes, um, shows that that's your business. I'm mm. paying you for your services. So if um, a man comes out to insult you at the end of the day for that, I don't think a woman should be Well, angry. for me, I believe in um, liberty for women. You know, you're allowed to do whatever you want to do True. with your body because these days we have a lot of men that put a prize on it. Mm -hmm. So trust me, darling, there are a lot of men who put a prize on it. That mm -hmm. They also, they are, they, are, they are male prostitutes, if I'm allowed to say that word. Mm -hmm. And yeah, so it's not like it's just... Um, the, the women these days. So I, I believe in liberty, do whatever you want. So mm -hmm. do what you want, do what to stack up your money. Mm -hmm. But is it to the detriment of another person? That is what I do not encourage. Do you understand? But um, I don't know where Toyo, Toyo is coming from. I don't know who has taken his girlfriend <laughs> with plenty money. That's the like type of <laughs> girls is going for. Yeah. That's just it. But um, sometimes it can be really ridiculous because you start, you spark a conversation with a girl, right? Mm -hmm. And you're not even going to do the whole transactional sex thing. And the next thing, like, so what do you have for me when I come over? Mm -hmm. Now, let me give you an example of um, the girl that accused the guy of raping her in Abuja. Mm -hmm. And then when the guy licked their charts and licked, the first question she asked them is, what do you have for me? How much are you going to pay? So now it's becoming a norm. So you can't blame it. So it's not really the girl you go after. I met some decent looking girl mm -hmm. on Sunday. Yeah, it was on Sunday. Same. And then we, we, we've been chatting for a while. And then next thing, she wrote me a message. Okay, no, I checked up on her yesterday. How are you mm -hmm. doing? Not good. How about you? Already, I knew not good. It has to be <laughs> something is about to go, go down. down. <laughs> you know, that just popped True. up in my head. And next thing, she's like, uh, 
I want to sell my TV. Do you have a buyer for me? And I'm like, okay, what's the make of your TV? She told me the make. I said, how much is it going for? She said, 250 k I said, mm -hmm. okay, what you need that for? Like, why are you selling your TV? Like, don't you plan to move into a bigger place or something? He said, I need the money right now. I'm having money You're issues. You're even going Wait, now, wait. I'm, I'm the nice guy. I'm the okay. nice guy. I, or she then the next thing, or do you want to help me out? Mm. Before I even said anything, she has sent me picture video of the tv she wants to sell and i'm like ah what's going on here <laughs> so you know no man in his right senses especially when you can afford it you let a woman go and sell her property when she needs money mm -hmm. she gets so now that's their the new scams they throw in new True. methods every time just for you to offer and me too now as a game boy mm -hmm. that i am i offered and i said okay no problem i'll, I'll send the money to i even have it that's the, in case you're you watching me to any new tv my husband oh is, yes I, i'm free your own is even better she's telling me Oh, yeah, how fun. How fun is it going to be? <laughs>